have sent it to me from home. They already have the latest version. What? There's a mission sent to? Welcome to Mission 3. You too can be a great wizard right now. Be a great wizard tomorrow. Tonight it's time to sleep. Save the prince from an enchanted castle. Cool. Level 1, the Jolly Jester Corridor. Want to have some fun? Great job navigating those tiles. You are a great wizard! Rooney, stop that! Can you please turn it down? Rooney, it's breakfast time. Come on, Al made us fruit pudding. Bonus level! <sighs> That's okay, I've got my own fruit here on the bonus level. <laughs> Agility bonus! <clears throat> All right, you stupid spiderweb. Think you're going to entangle me? You're no <laughs> match for this great wizard. <clears throat> <clears throat> ah, looks like you're just playing a game. Rooney, come with us. Daria found an ancient scroll in the library. It's a spell for a triple force field. Let's go give it a try. My force field in the game is stronger. The ancient hall's beautiful protective web is no match for you. You're a great wizard. Oh, you bet I am. Come on, let's get to the next level. Excellent jump. You're a great wizard. Even great wizards need to eat sometimes to maintain their greatness, uh -oh. you know. You've been playing that for two days now. <gasps> Rooney, where'd you go? I'm inside the game! Well, you better get out of there. I don't know how. The Watchtower Ravens, I can't move on my own. Press the up arrow. No down. Up, down, down, up. <sighs> Rooney, are you okay? I'm fine, but I think there's something wrong with the game. We have to tell the Immortal before someone else ends up in the game, too. Or escapes from the game. <gasps> oh, what's our Raven? It's guarding the game. <gasps> then let's defeat it together. Player two has joined. The Jolly Jester Corridor. It's level one. Okay, if the tile you're on blinks, jump to another one so you don't fall into a deep pit. Not my kind of game. But this part is so simple. One, two, and we jump. Yesterday I finished this level on my first try. It's not a game anymore, is it? It feels <gasps> so real. Huh? Really? <laughs> this level is so simple, huh? Well, I didn't sleep much. Of course you didn't. Not with that game. A web? Yeah, it's the second level. We need to run through it with a force field activated. I've already done this. It's simple. Uh, well, it was when I played it. Got it. Pay attention, Rooney. One shield, two shield, three shield, force field. Yeah. One shield, two shield, three shield. Then what? <laughs> oh, stupid web. How do I break it? Mm, there's a button combo for that. But there aren't any buttons here. I'm going to end this level. <laughs> Rooney, we did it! <gasps> the Royal Turbo Carpet. It's got alchemic engines. The bonus level. You grab coins from the ravens. Let's grab the whole game. Game 
what I'd call an adventure. Better than any game. I remember playing Vision 1 back in the day. The ravens were afraid of me. That was fun. Here is where the partition between worlds opened up, and everything fell right out of the game. You can play, but don't forget your schoolwork. Or forget to eat. Welcome to Vision 3. You too can be a great wizard right now. Yeah, been there, done that. But I wouldn't have made it through a single level without Daria. Oh. I'd better go practice force fields. I want to be a great wizard for real, and not just a vision of one. The Good Luck Guardian. Dorma, what's the matter? They say that if a ghost passes through your body, it will take all your good luck with it. That's only if you believe in luck, which I personally don't. You don't believe in it? You believe in bad luck, don't you? No, I don't believe in bad luck either, because if you study hard, you don't need good luck to get an A. In El Dorado, there's a saying that if you bounce a ball 505 times, you'll have good luck all day. And I believe it. 105, 106. <laughs> Dorma and I won't need good luck to beat you at soccer. <laughs> no way. Mm -hmm. In the yard, for all to see. Oh, Vosco, you're going to knock a vase over on me. Be careful. Oh. No, 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 no. And are those paintings hung properly? They look like they could fall any minute. <gasps> I thought I ordered a professor's hat. Oh, but this one's not too bad. <laughs> 132, 133. <laughs> oh, man. Now I have to start over. I saw a horned monster down there. My day's barely started and my luck's already terrible. It's just the professor. <laughs> so, if even the professor is out to scare me, how will I last till nightfall? Dorma, you're going to be jumping at every single shadow. I think this spell could help you. When you recite the spell and connect the two halves of the talisman, a guardian spirit will appear. It'll drive away bad luck 24 hours a day without a break. All right, I'll give this a try. May this spell protect me, guard me, and defend me. You'll be completely safe with this guardian. An ironclad guarantee. Thank you, Daria. Four, five hundred and five. Now I'll have a lucky day. <laughs> and victory will be ours. We'll see about that, won't we? Then want to see something cool? I'll score a goal without looking. A little thing I like to call super luck. Ugh! Dorma, that really hurt. It wasn't me, Vosco. Come on, really? Three against two and that uniform is cheating. We can't play a match against him. Imagine if that hunk of iron steps on your foot. It won't be pretty. Wait there and just stay still. Okay, Vosco, try that again. <clears throat> Kinda feels like he doesn't want to listen. He's coming to take a shot at our goal. I think he's after you personally. Stop still. He probably thought Vosco wanted to hit me with the ball. Maybe you should let him go now. Just split the talisman. Do I have to split the talisman? That sounds like a terrible idea. I'll never have any good luck ever again. Well, the ball is clearly on your side now, so I am not going to play with it. <laughs> Make it stop! Guardian, no! Stay! Bad Guardian, that's enough! <laughs> to the school. He won't get us there.
tired out. Deflated, even. Uh, I liked him a bit more as the ball. Vasco, run! I'll hold him off for you! <laughs> Splitting a talisman is bad luck, even in Eldorado. Uh, You've got enough bad luck as it is! I'll split it myself! <laughs> Why are you doing acrobatics with the bear? Hang on, Vosco, I'll save you! Oh, I'm going to fall down! Vosco, go ahead and split the talisman, please! Uh, <laughs> Great. Let the bad luck begin. Nothing's beginning. All these superstitions about luck, they're not real. You bounced that ball 500 times and weren't lucky at all. Yeah, I wouldn't say today was a lucky one. <laughs> and Dorma had a rough time with the Guardian. And it was all because I summoned him thinking he'd solve my problems for me. But now I'll handle those troubles on my own. All with the help of my awesome friends. I'm glad to hear that. As wizards, we believe in many magical things and powers. Like ghosts, spells, even Baba Yaga. But luck shouldn't worry you. Hey there, Archie. <laughs> <laughs> the Book of the Future. I passed my test. Oh, and guess what? The professor said that soon we're probably going to have a new subject. Try to guess what it is. As long as it's not wizard genealogy. Talk about boring. And not ancient incantations. They're all just really long. I always get mixed up by the end. Don't you care what it might be, Daria? I can handle any subject. It won't be a problem for me. The subject of our new class? We'll be learning how to ride magical beasts! Yes! Oh no. What's wrong? That is the one class that I will never ever pass. My report card's going to be ruined. On the other hand, grades don't matter if I get kicked out of school because I'll never be a rider. It's easier than you think. All my brothers have been riding since they were two. They're always on a horse. Soon they'll forget how to walk. <sighs> Where I come from, it's not the same though. Wisdom landers are such terrible riders that. We had to invent magic cars. Ow! The Squirrel Express. Fast and furry. I bet the immortal ordered something valuable. I'm going to follow it and find out. <clears throat> Wisdom landers just aren't meant to ride. And I'm not either. <gasps> huh? From the Central Magical Library, a book of the future on loan for the immortals' classes on magical divination and... Huh. What's a book of the future? Well, judging by the title, it might be a record of what the future holds. Let's take a look. Maybe you don't need to worry, because what if in the future, you'll be a great rider? Or maybe I will. Daria from Wisdomland, student of Wondermont School and former principal's assistant. <sighs> We'll never become a great rider. Hmm. Well, maybe this book is wrong. And also, why would you need to become a great rider? You could just be kind of good. Or, you know, not bad. Hmm. Well, in any case, let's start practicing now with six paws. For this, we need a pro. I'll go get Helen. At long last, the future is mine. Now bars appear on the school's windows and doors. They cannot be breached. Even by a powerful magic force. Where has the book gone? <gasps> hey, give that book back! We have to return it to the library! All right, book of the future. You better be wrong about this. It worked! Uh, 
sort of. <laughs> Back! I mean, forward! <laughs> Some princess! Look at you! Where'd you learn to ride like that? <gasps> Jump! Manage the tree, okay? How will you do with water? <sighs> Don't be scared. It's not deep. You can do it. We have to hurry! <laughs> we won't catch her like this! Think, Daria. Ah, oh, we have to use the stones. Okay, listen to me. Left paw forward. And march! Right, middle, back. Left, middle, left, right. Uh. Whew, done. You did a great job. Now, we'll really live it up in a palace. I'll be principal of a school of evil sorcery. Or no, the queen of all Wondermont. Hmm? I'm going to find a good place to hide, so I can write our future in peace. And I'll see you before long, my golden beauty. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss Dragon. I really, really need your help. I need to fly to the cliffs to save Wondermont's future from Baba Yaga. Uh... That is, if you wouldn't mind. My palace will have five. No, six rooms in it. Or ten. Only ten? More. How about a hundred? I can't decide now. What's better? I could be Queen Yaga. Or the Magnificent Empress of Wondermont. <laughs> oh, oh, you will never be an empress. Mr. Immortal, look what Baba Yaga wrote in there. Well, well done! done. Well, Daria, you did job, it! Daria. Daria has done very well indeed. She saved us all today. Daria, you did a wonderful job. Working with Ms. Dragon and Six Balls. But the Book of the Future said, very clearly in fact, that I'll never be a great rider. The future hasn't happened yet. That's why it's the future. And we can shape it however we choose. The book changes as we do so. Daria from Wisdom Land will be a great rider and will get along with all manner of magical beasts. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least I've still got this. Uh, oh, that book's just fairy tales. <laughs> Slipshod. Some plumberry seeds from Sunsea. Plumberries are the very best ever. I also love plumberry jam. Why don't we plant these? <laughs> Yay! How long will it take? Can they be done by lunch? Or dinner? Rooney, dear. <laughs> I should sleep here so that I don't miss it. It takes several days for plumberry trees to grow and longer for berries to appear. Well, can't we do something to uh, make them grow faster? Hmm. There is a growing elixir we could add, but it takes a while to brew. And I still need to check your herbariums. Oh, I can make the elixir. Pretty please? With the cherry on top? Of course. But follow the recipe exactly, with no shortcuts. Making the elixir slipshod won't get you anywhere. Three tricolor petals. One, two, three. Rooney! <laughs> Focus. Ten blades of fast-growing grass. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Rooney! Huh? We're going to play skip ball. Wanna join? I'm coming! Just give me a... Oh, still gotta add. One hundred drops of rainbow. Counting those will take forever. I'll just guess. Allow it to steep. Okay, I'm off. <laughs> Good afternoon! Hot soup right out of the oven! Thanks! Thank you! And what a great game! But we were only able to skip three balls. And we skipped 15, so we win! I love playing skip ball, it's so fun! 
And I love this soup, too. Ugh. It's amazing. <laughs> hey, you! Get away from our soup! Stop! Hey, don't do that! Stop it! Come here! I'm gonna get you. There, gotcha! Hey, you! Stop right there! Oh! Oh! oh. You didn't see them, but they were so round! And they made a noise like slipshod! Right? Girls? Oh. We believe you, Rooney. Would a necklace make you feel any better? I made it by hand. The green one? Yeah. How beautiful. It's pretty. May I have one too? <gasps> Them again. There they are. Rooney, wait! <laughs> Find out what they are. Where are you going? Sometimes you can look up magic creatures by the sounds they make. So if these guys say slip and shod, <gasps> I found them. Slip shards appear when someone makes messy or slip shod magic. So somebody made a messy spell, and now we all have to suffer. Slip shards can only be seen by the one who made them, and only I can see them. So only you can fix this. <gasps> magic cleaning, Vaggy. <laughs> If you do things slipshod, things may turn out messy. Or salty like that soup. Or your necklace might break. Here, this time I actually followed the recipe. And here's the result. <laughs> Winter in Wondermont. Be on your best behavior. We won't be long as soon as we buy... What is it we're buying today? The usual. All sorts of magical things. Magical things we've run out of. Oscar gave us such interesting pendants. Whatever dress you wear, it matches perfectly. I've tried it with all my clothes. You should try it with something warmer. It's freezing in here. Helen, are you okay? <sighs> I'm sad because today's a holiday. Holiday? What holiday makes people sad? I'm sad because I can't celebrate it. Today is Snowland Day. It's the best winter holiday. <sighs> Snow falls from morning to night, and everyone goes ice skating. We share our cocoa and gingerbread, and at night we meet under the holiday tree and exchange gifts. 
But all of that happens in Snowland. What wonderment. You should have told us sooner, because then we could have put it on our holiday calendar. But how can we celebrate here? There's no snow. It's impossible. <laughs> The library has a spell that summons winter in summertime. Well, should we bring winter to Wondermont? Oh, it's so cold. Looks like there's some fine print. Winter magic is very fragile. When the ice ball appears, you must not... Must not what? I don't know. The ink is faded. Just must not. I think it says we must not leave Helen without her favorite holiday. Just because of fine print, the spell hasn't faded. That's all we need. Frosty air, fluffy snow, winter wonders, please be still. Give us the chance to see snowmen dance. Away with summer air, so winter is everywhere. It's working. It sure is. Even our bears have gone white. 127, 128. I just got started. What is happening? Snow? In summer? That's you! Hello there. Do you have any idea what's going on? Why is it so cold? By the way, my name is Ash! Hey! Wait up! Come with me to the school! Otherwise you'll freeze! <gasps> Look! So cool! Why haven't we summoned winter before? How beautiful! Look inside! There are tiny snowflakes! Uh, I figured out what we must not do! You could have warned us that your winter was starting this afternoon. Vasco is out in the forest today, and he's allergic to cold weather. We have to go find him quick and bring him straight back. I'll look to the left, and you... We'll be waiting for you here. Handle it on your own. It's his fault for going out alone. Aren't you worried about Vasco? Look at this. The girls wanted to summon winter for me, and they did it. But they did it wrong. And the magic cold went into their hearts. Now they don't feel anything. So we need to save them too? Yes, we do. Let's split up. You find Vasco, and I'll warm up the girls. Before their hearts freeze over. <laughs> Vasco! 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 I hear you, Vasco! Just keep sneezing! Vasco! I'm coming to get you. Look over here! Grandma taught me how to handle heart frost. To warm a frozen heart, be kind and funny, and make them smile. <laughs> and now, the showstopper! Ta-da! Come on, girls! Could you please laugh? I know who you are! You're the legendary sorcerer of the snowy north! And you brought this false winter! But I won't let you freeze all my friends! Vasco is cold and in danger, and I'm here doing silly magic tricks. He would never abandon us like this. He came to save me from the six-legged beast, and he saved Rooney on the flying disc. And once, he protected us from those rocks. <sighs> I can't stop shivering. It's so cold. My tongue's gone numb. Are we in a freezer? Girls, you finally awakened. Quickly, we have to find the boys. Vasco! Vasco! Demon! Let's do it. Bless you, buddy. I see them over there. Guys, we're here to help you! Here's some hot cocoa and gingerbread. Vasco, why are the pendants glowing? We've never studied magic like this before. Oh, that? In El Dorado, we give these pendants to our friends, and they glow whenever we think of each other. And they warmed us up. In Snowland, we have a saying, friends keep you warm in the cold. <laughs> so, you gave Helen a surprise. Snow, hot cocoa, gingerbread. Good work. Do you know what else is missing from our Wondermont Snowland day? So oh, you went a bit overboard with the blizzard. Now let's see. How about we reduce the wind by a third? Ah, I think that's better. Look, the Sorcerer of the North is back. What? That's a snowman. He's very kind. Kind? Then let's give him a cup of cocoa, too. 
<laughs> the Defenders. Uh, I feel so sleepy. You were the one who suggested we play longer. We could be sleeping right now, Dorma. We'll be in trouble if we get caught. I've received some dreadful news, Shh. Professor. There's been a disaster. The school run by my British colleague, Merlin, has suddenly vanished. <gasps> How awful! I hope the same thing doesn't happen to our school. I wouldn't be so sure, Professor. They are due to arrive at midnight. Let's greet them properly. Girls, what was that about? Don't you know? A terrible disaster befell another school. It's going to come here at midnight and attack our school. Oh dear. How frightening. Mr. Immortal and the Professor will stop them. What if the monsters trick them somehow? They could sneak inside. What a terrible time for Marlene to be away. This is our school too. We must do our part to defend it, no matter what comes our way. <clears throat> All right, girls. Does anyone have any ideas? I do. As soon as they get here, I'll show them. <laughs> Absolutely not. We don't know anything about them. Whoever they are, rushing in headfirst is too dangerous. What if they're twice your size? Uh, what if Lisa conjured a pond on the front steps? Hmm. So they'll go away to avoid getting their feet wet? So that Helen can freeze it. <laughs> It'll be slippery. Then they'll fall. Good idea, Dorma. That'll throw them off balance and buy us some time. <laughs> then when they see our knights, they'll be frightened and run away. Sounds good, Daria. But I don't believe we have any knights to help us. Do we? I don't remember Wondermont having a night delivery service. Delivery in 30 minutes or your money back. <laughs> Actually, I've been reading some of next year's textbooks. It's no big deal. Only six in all. And I learned a very interesting spell from one of them. First of all, we must defend the most vulnerable parts of the school. That means the windows, the doors, and we need a sentry. But the most important thing is my magic spell. With these necklaces, we can bring the bears to life, and they will be our knights. It's already midnight. Be ready for anything. We're almost done here. <gasps> They're here! Look, I'll bet that the small one is in charge, and the tall guy is the dumb one, like in fairy tales. Girls, let's go. Lisa, go ahead. No idea what a slippery slope is in store for them. <laughs> Helen, it's your turn. <laughs> we did it! <sighs> oh no, it failed. They must be powerful magicians. Don't worry, we're powerful as well. Time to raise the bars. Living Hedge from underground, do the invaders where they're found. I don't understand what is happening. What's going on? I wish I had an answer. Something seems to be going wrong with the school. It appears that someone is trying to keep us out. The princesses could be in danger. Princesses? Like damsels? In danger. So you mean... in distress? I'll save you! We'll save you! Wait! Ugh. Oh. Ugh. Yes! A lot stronger than I expected. Let's hold hands. Time for the life-giving spell. And no matter what, we must not stop chanting. Oh, brave warrior, show your might. Please defend the school tonight. Oh, brave warrior, show your might. Please defend the school tonight. Oh, brave warrior, show your might. Please What's that sound? Go, oh. Mr. Immortal, sir. Please defend the school tonight. Come on, Vasco! This is our chance to be heroes! Oh, brave warrior, show your mind! You'd better surrender, sir! We can't be responsible for our actions! Professor, it seems that I have found a way to fight these bears! Simply tickle them! Oh, brave warrior, show your mind! Professor? Uh. Mr. Immortal? 
<laughs> now, girls, allow me to introduce you to Vasco... Hi there. ...and Livon. Good evening. They were students at Merlin's Academy. But one of the students brought the school building to life. <gasps> and it ran off. So the boys have transferred here. That explains it. And we mistook them for wicked magicians. <laughs> now I see. So you protected the school. Well done. But you eavesdropped on our conversation. That's not good. And now, it's time for bed. Tomorrow we'll start a new chapter in our life at school. Oh. Magical music. Ah, I've been waiting a hundred years for this. Tomorrow morning, the sun will pass from Capricorn into the Piper. And then it'll be my time to shine. The important thing is not to oversleep, but they don't suspect a thing. <laughs> Who cares about these music lessons? What's the point of studying this? It's not magic. You're only grumbling because you didn't learn your part. What is it even to learn? Bam, bam! Would you please be quiet? What are you worried about? Surely you know it all by heart. If I don't get enough sleep, I won't play well. <sighs> <laughs> Oh, did I oversleep? Stupid alarm crow. Why didn't you wake me? Good. I'm still on time. Mr. Immortal doesn't even suspect that his treasured Trenbita is missing. The heist of the century. <laughs> A little surprise for you. Hmm. The fifth Wintober of the Dragon Cycle. The sun is in the house of the Piper. Hmm. Has it been a hundred years already? <laughs> Where is it? I distinctly remember putting it in here. Right next to the Magical Music Encyclopedia. <gasps> Now, let's begin. <laughs> huh? Uh, that wasn't me. Wait a minute. Isn't that... wondering why we've all gathered here today. From now on, you lucky little things are going to be attending the Yaga School for Mischief. My school. Go get the others. Don't be afraid. They can't hurt you. What are you worried about? The Alpine Horn works like a charm. It enchanted every one of them. And here are our new textbooks. Trixometry, Spitefully, Evonomics, Intrigology, and this, Mischief Matics. We'll start out easy. Let's find something interesting. How to ruin things. <laughs> Mr. Immortal? <gasps> Mr. Immortal! <gasps> Music Encyclopedia. Oh, that's exactly what I need. Encasing, enchaining, 
Oh, there it is, enchanting music. So that's how Papa Yaka bewitched them. Huh? Where is it? Where is the counter spell? <gasps> music that cures hiccups and tickling songs. That's not what I need. Knowing how to taunt and tease well is a true science. Here, watch me. Now it's your turn. Well, that was disappointing. You all get a D. By the way, where are the others? Once every hundred years, the horn's What's powers this? reach their summit, but whoever plays it can overcome it. Aha! What's going on? Why aren't you bewitched and frozen? I'll take care of that. <laughs> do you think you're doing? As <laughs> and that is the power of magical instruments. I assume that the music lesson has been a great success. Nice! What an enchanting melody. I just can't stop dancing. All right, then. Everyone gets an A. Oh, my alpine horn. Thank you for finding it. As soon as the sun sets, I'll play you a beautiful solo. I can't wait to demonstrate it. What? Music is truly powerful magic. But the drums were a bit late. We'll, we'll practice, practice some more and have the best concert. <laughs> The Seven League Boots. Rooney, you need to improve your grades. Otherwise, you'll have to retake all of your exams. All of my exams? Every single one of them. <sighs> oh dear. Now I'm even having nightmares about retaking everything. Today we are holding a magical race. To finish in first, just pick up the pace. And if you can finish ahead of the pack, then there's a good chance you won't be held back. Huh? The professor said so himself. <laughs> well, not in verse. I turned it into poetry myself. <gasps> a race? Now's my chance. If I go fast, then I can pass. Are we late or is Bruni early? I don't remember you ever coming to class before us. Is it surprising? I'll have you know that I love learning. Good morning. Let us continue our lesson on magical transportation. It's not always possible to use magic from a distance. Therefore, should someone require urgent magical intervention? Such as an emergency rescue? Precisely. In such dire situations, we use this method, the wonderful magic of transportation. Today, you are being given a rare opportunity to prove your skills and speed. Have a look outside. Oh, wow. Those boots! They're prettier than I had ever imagined. Oh? <laughs> You'll be divided into teams. Then we'll prepare the race. Uh, uh, oh? I choose a stove. It can go anywhere, and it's as fast as the wind. I'll take the Seven League Boots. If anyone knows shoes, it's me. If you'd read the chapter on aerodynamics, you'd know the flying carpet is the faster one. Perhaps, but I've flown a carpet before. I'd like to try the stove now. Good. It seems we have our teams decided. Now, allow me to remind you of the rules. Whoever's magical transport crosses the finish line first will be awarded the highest score. And won't have to retake exams. Yes, you won't have to retake exams. Yes, okay, let's go. Here, Lisa, let me help you. Oh, thank you, Rooney. What's wrong, girls? Uh, nothing. Everything's just fine. Good. Get set and go! What's wrong with her? Nothing. It must be a shortcut, but that breaks the rules. If we follow her, then we'll lose. We need more firewood. The 
There's no way I'm losing this race. Gather ye told stools while ye may. <laughs> Stop that! I'm sorry! I'm not doing this on purpose! The boats won't stop! Now you've done it! Run to the enchanted swamp! At least while you're stuck there, you won't be able to trample my garden! Bruni, I'm worried about Lisa. Dorma, we're so close to winning this! It's not our fault Lisa didn't train harder. I agree with the part about Lisa, but you're wrong about who will win! <laughs> we'll see about that! Someone help! What's wrong, Lisa? I can't control the boots anymore! What's happening? Oh, your boots is unzipped! That must be why I can't control them! And Baba Yaga sent me to the swamp! Oh no! This is all my fault! Hold on, Lisa! We'll save you! <laughs> run, run! Into the swamp where you belong! Ah! Oh, now it's the two of you on the stove! Someone oh. help me! I'll teach you a lesson! First is your boots, then you use your stove to crush my toadstools! Lisa, take my hand! <laughs> Since the race is over, the rescue mission begins now! I'll show you both! Bruni, help me! <laughs> Stubborn shoes! Take them off or we'll end up in the swamp! If you want to be in the swamp so bad, go ahead, but not with us! <clears throat> oh, Rooney! Thank you for saving me! Aha! Gotcha! Oh. Now to teach you a lesson! Come on! <laughs> uh, 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 what? I'm the one sinking! Girls, what took so long? Why was the flying carpet the only one on time? On top of that, where is the stove? and the Seven League Boots. Professor, it's my fault. I was in such a hurry that I broke the boot zipper. I didn't tell anyone and put Lisa in danger. I'm sorry. You know, you could have told me, but you saved me from Baba Yaga. So of course I forgive mm. you. And Rooney caught up with the boots. It's all thanks to Rooney's speed. Well, well, it seems that I missed some interesting events. Professor, Baba Yaga is stuck. <gasps> Remember the purpose of magical transport. It is meant to be used to save those in dire need. That's why we use races for training purposes. Therefore, since you saved Lisa, Rooney will receive the highest grade. Hooray! But if you don't start studying, no extra credit will prevent you from retaking classes. And of course, you must also <laughs> clean up the mess left over from your adventures. Are we all clear? I promise to apply my speed to cleaning up, and I'll also repair the boots and help fix Baba Yaga's garden. Oh, and will you sweep out my heart? <laughs> I didn't clean because of your antics. You can fix the roof, too, and clean the cauldron. And take out the trash. <laughs> ah. Time out for Daria. <laughs> I'm getting the hang of this. Does the green one suit me? You should stick to softer colors. Light blue, cream, they're very stylish and will look better on you. Please be quiet. It's impossible to concentrate. Oh, do you expect us to whisper now? Give me a break, Daria. You asked, so we're all trying to be quiet. Hey, girls, I had such a funny dream. <laughs> Please stop it, if you don't mind. Oh, no. What happened? Did I do this? <gasps> this must mean that I really do have powers! Hooray! Oh, okay, okay. Unfreeze. <gasps> Wake up now. Come back to life. Now move. What should I do? Oh, I've got to get help. You're back already. Daria, what is it? You seem worried. Are you all right? Oh, yes, you see. It's all because I've discovered a new power. You have? That's wonderful. Show me. Not yet. It's not that simple. The girls were making so much noise. Going back and forth, back and forth. So I told them to stop it. And they froze. Now I can't fix it. I don't know how. Wait a second. I didn't understand that. Back and forth where? Look, I would have made them more comfortable if I had known. How can we undo it? 
If you've the power to make it happen, you've the power to reverse it. Come with me. There's something I want to tell you. But we can't just leave them. The girls are going to be just fine. But you need to calm yourself down. Just hold on a little longer. I'll be back soon. Professor, don't you find it a bit strange that it's so quiet? Hmm. The girls are studying. No need to worry. Although, I do agree, it is a little odd. Ah? Huh? It seems you were spot on, Mr. Immortal. <laughs> I know, they're playing a joke on us. It's not a joke, Professor. And I don't see Daria. Where is she? Daria? Hmm. Daria may be in danger. We need to find her immediately. Of course, sir. But shouldn't we free the girls first? We cannot interfere with magic whose nature we do not yet understand. Come with me, Professor. Sorry, girls. Be back soon. You're an excellent student and you work hard. But the magic you were born with hasn't revealed itself yet. And therefore, you're worried. Is it that obvious? It's all right. We all go through it. This might turn out to be a stroke of luck. Some unexpected stress has activated your power. So stress activates my power? But does that mean I can only use magic when I'm stressed? No, stress just helped activate your magic. Now it's up to you to learn how best to control it. Oh, Mr. Immortal, I think I know who's behind this. Hmm, do you think so? It's Baba Yaga. She froze the girls. And she stole Daria. Come on. And like you, I studied at a school of magic. And just like you, I didn't know what my magic was. Then, one day on a walk, I ran into a number of snakes. Oh, I'm afraid of snakes. Me too. I was terrified. And because of that, I shot up into the air. And that's how I learned I could fly. <laughs> Wait, Mr. Immortal, look over there. Why, that's only Marlene. What's the concern? It's Baba Yaga disguised as Marlene. Our Marlene is on vacation. But how did you manage to get down? At first, I couldn't. I hovered about for a long time, but I calmed myself down, relaxed, and it worked. That is the secret. Hurry! Grab her, Professor! No! I've got you! Professor, what is wrong with you? You won't get away! <laughs> Daria, are you all right? I don't understand what's gotten into the Professor. It's oh. to be one of our best! Teach us! <laughs> Professor, I'll cut off her escape! <laughs> what are you doing? Stop! <gasps> Seriously? It activated again? Marlene said I needed to calm down. Activate! No, that's silly. <sighs> All right, stop! Shh. Really? It's so easy. That's all I had to do? Daria, you did it! Thank you, Marlene. I have to get to the girls. Uh, sorry, Professor, but you said Marlene was on vacation, yes? Yes, Marlene. Why are you here? I was missing the school so much, I decided to come back early. Our apologies, Marlene. We thought you were Baba Yaga. Why? Do I look like Baba Yaga? No, not at all. <laughs> oh, I'm back. All right, stop. <laughs> Girls, do you know what happened to you? We know everything. You froze us solid, or rather, immobilized us. Made us living statues, turned us to stone. <laughs> <laughs> I was worried you'd be mad. Of course not. We're proud of you. You're so cool. Marlene's the cool one. She can fly up the banister. Who? Who even knew? Daria. Um... Come on, don't be shy. Show us how you do it. Do you really want to see it? All right. But let's keep it our little secret. The Magical Repair Shop. Hey, listen. I don't get it. Why are you so sensitive? You stepped on my foot five years ago and I didn't say a thing. Not a word. Not even a peep. I forgave you right away, remember? <coughs> Fire, water, earth, and air. And then I need... Aha! Mm -hmm. Easy as pie. And I learned how to paint. Water and fire. <coughs> Can someone explain why we're doing this? They dragged in junk from the basement and it's all right, now fix it. Are we training to open a repair shop? I like it. 
Just a little more and we'll have a wonderful pot. Mm-hmm. Congrats on your wonderful pot. You're just angry because you can't fix anything yourself. Who, me? I just don't want to waste my time on this. And the professor said this was an optional assignment. Hup. So do it if you want or don't. Either way, I'm out of here. Playing outside in the fresh air, that's what I recommend. You can join me if you want to. <laughs> Got it. Guess nobody else is coming. Well, fine. All right. Enough already. Uh, oh. Truce? I owe you an... an, uh... Oh, what if I kick and use a spell at the same time? Why didn't I think of this before? Now, if only I can remember the spell. Uh, fly high like an arrow. Something... Hmm. Up to the sky, maybe? Oh! You're making this so difficult! Maybe your grace is sky. Okay, kapow! Wow, we! <sighs> it's all because you took offense. You could be at home, your chimney would still be in place, and I was about to say, well, I almost said it, but don't rush me. I nearly apologized. Ah, what's the matter? We'll fix your chimney. <laughs> After all, I'm the strongest magic user of all. Oh. oh! That's not the spell. Wait a minute. Hold on. Don't worry. I'll fix it. Oh! <laughs> Looks like I set the wrong process in motion. How do I stop it? I've got to stop it now. My dear sweetheart, don't get any smaller. Wait just a moment. I'll be back. What happened to it? <laughs> you could almost send it to kindergarten. Did I do that? The ball hit the chimney and there must have been something important in there. Oh no, what did I do? My magic can be a bit, well, it's hard to explain. Uh, how do I put it? Um, Destructive, perhaps? Yes, and now I'm trying to be, you see, um, hmm. Well, Constructive, it seems. Yes, that's it. I can't do it. Please help me. Help your old friend. When exactly were we ever friends? Well, 200 years ago. Don't you remember? I was a cute little blonde girl. Huh? Hmm. Please, Mr. Immortal, you must hurry. It's going to disappear. I won't play any dirty tricks, I promise. For a week. No, a month. A month. Two months. Hmm? <sighs> Rooney? What's the matter? I'm afraid that I really messed up and recited a spell wrong and, well, I knocked the chimney off Baba Yaga's hut and then it started to shrink. You did? Mm-hmm. What does the chimney have to do with it? Maybe there was something important inside it. What do you mean? But girls, I feel sorry for it. It's going to be so tiny soon. What can we do? It's simple. We were just studying all kinds of repairs today. Of course, my book. Yes, here it is. Ah, look. Yes, yes, that's the spell. Can you help me, girls? Of course, let's go. <laughs> wow, it's tiny. Hello, don't be alarmed. Come on, girls. <laughs> Little to the left, right there. Be careful. All right, Rooney, begin now. Mm-hmm. Fire, water, earth, and air. Each has magic everywhere. Hooray! Well done, Rooney. Shall we give it a try? <laughs> Come on now, grow! <gasps> uh, uh, it's all my fault. Please forgive me. I'm the one who broke your chimney. We tried to fix it, but... Mm, actually, it, uh, it broke all by itself. <laughs> what do you mean? You're making this difficult. Ah! Well, are you satisfied? Huh? Oh. Oh. Ah! That's what happened. Well done, girls. I was certain you were going to fix the chimney either way. Well, yes, and we just had extra practice today on, well, on how we can repair anything, but... Yes, right, exactly what I mean. Yes, but it didn't help. The hut is still small. That is for a completely different reason. You did 
did it. Thank you. Time to go. Hut, let's head home. Don't forget your promise. I had my fingers crossed. <laughs> oh! Mm, incorrigible. 